Hello friends and welcome back to Everything Tumblr Tutorials. My name is Rebecca Escott and if you haven't already, head over to AB Designs Co. for all your Tumblr and glitter needs. Their glitters come in many colors, shapes, and glitter sizes for all your Tumblr and crafting designs. Hello and welcome back. My name is Rebecca Escott with Everything Tumblr Tutorials and today we're going to jump right in and as you'll notice I've already spray painted my Tumblr a beautiful candy pink from Rust-Oleum. I allowed this to completely dry before going in using my epoxy and ballet slippers which is a beautiful iridescent fine from AB Designs. When doing the epoxy glitter method it's really important to not over add any glitter into the epoxy as it becomes very very gummy and just unmanageable at that point so add a little bit at a time for this particular purpose i just did really want a tiny bit just enough to give my tumbler a really beautiful shimmer this first coat of epoxy i am using fast set from counterculture diy this tumbler sat overnight as I was working late this particular evening, so it wasn't a big deal, but in most cases, after about three hours, you can move on. I wanna wish you all a very Merry Christmas today. I hope everyone has a wonderful day with their family. And if you haven't caught the last 13 days from the 1st to the 13th, I did a Christmas series. Every one of those were Christmas tumblers. Today is not. <laughs> so from the 16th on, we moved on from Christmas because I didn't wanna overdo it. So I really do hope that you guys enjoyed the spin on this tutorial today. And as always, be sure to use your heat torch to pop any bubbles you may or may not be able to see. So now that we're back and you might only be three hours, I'm the next day. You will notice that I have dimples in my tumbler, but that was probably because I did a thin coat. It's either a thin coat or it's too much heat, one of the two. So don't let that worry you and I did not sand this tumbler. I'm going to just move right on. I'm going to be using the vinyl tape that I purchased from Amazon and you can find this link down in the description below in my Amazon storefront and I'm just going to split this tumbler in half. This way I can have stripes on one side and foil brush strokes on the other. So I went shopping online looking for some creative foil designs I had not seen before when I came across these foils which are for nails absolutely perfect for this design. I am super excited about how we're going to play this out and design this tumbler using Tacket to apply the foil. So again, I will have this link for you down in the description below. It is in my Amazon storefront where you can find these. These worked way better than I expected to, especially with the Tacket. So we're going to place a little bit of the Tacket right here in each little section. I'm going to do one at a time and not to worry if you over do the Tacket, you can always wipe it off. We just want to try to make this as um, smooth as we possibly can. Obviously, we don't want it clumpy. So I take a few minutes just working it out, pretty much kind of getting the hang of it right now at this point and staying in that little section. But if I go above it, it's not a big deal. However, you can truly also just tape off each section if you'd prefer. I just was going to wing it. Um, uh, anything that I got over too far over to that tape, not to worry if you do. Um, you can just use a baby wipe and it will come right off. Again, because this tumbler has been epoxied. So once I get the tacket applied and clean up anywhere where I don't want this to foil to be, I'm then just going to use my heat gun, warm this up so that I can pretty much dry it without having to wait. So I do speed some of this up and cut most of it out as it's just watching paint dry, in this case, glue dry. So we just wanna make sure that when, we draw, when we're drawing this, you want it to be clear. Once it goes clear, we're then ready to place our first nail foil. As I'm going to place my nail foil, I do overlap that tape just a little bit. But when I said before that you could just use a baby wipe to wipe it off, I wasn't talking about the tacket. I was talking about the foil. So we're just going to get this on there and then we're just going to use the velvet side of our squeegee to really press down. And I do cut off that excess that is remaining on this one side. I do this all the way through to the top. Here, I'm just gonna take a sneak peek and make sure that everything is starting to transfer as it should. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this section up just as well, um, but you'll notice that I'm rubbing it in really well. If you start to pull back the nail foil and notice that there are some gaps, which there might be, that just are not gonna transfer. I'm not exactly sure why, but for the most part, this transferred really, really well. 
You can lay it back down in position and go ahead and try to rub it back out, but even doing so, it's still just, in some sections, to just did not want to stick. But as I pull it back, I am so excited at just, like, I wish you guys could hear me screaming when I pull this back on each and every single one, because I truly was so excited with how this worked. And I know it's foil, so naturally it would have worked, but um, at any rate, I just really was not sure just how well this was going to achieve on the tumbler, but it was super successful. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this section up just as well, just so you guys can really see one more time how simple this is, and it's so much fun. Okay, so once you have this rubbed out really, really well, then it's time to go ahead and pull back the foil, which every single time is super satisfying. You'll also notice from my foil sheet that 98% of this, maybe 95, more or less, transfers beautifully onto the tumbler. So now it's time to do the final stripe here at the top, and I'm ex just going to do the exact same steps as before. Applying the tacket right here at the top, just really trying to make sure everything is nice and smoothed out, and then I buddy up the foil with the one from before. And again, once I've applied my tacket and I'm happy with the application of that, I will then use my heat gun to dry it up as quickly as possible. And once it's gone clear, I can then go ahead and apply the foil. Once I had all of my nail foil applied to the tumbler and allowed this to dry, I gently pulled off the vinyl tape. It's at this point, if you notice any little specks that traveled over that vinyl tape, this is where you can use your baby wipe to just very carefully wipe off that extra nail tape where you didn't want it to be. So once I removed the vinyl tape, I decided to let this dry a little bit longer before moving on. 
I wanted to place my decal first wild thing, which I just created using the fonts I believe that I downloaded from defaut.com. I will have the fonts used for wild thing down in the description for you below. I also was not opposed that the dot on my eye was missing. It really just went super well, specifically for this tumbler. Once you're pretty sure that you have secured your vinyl to your tumbler, we can then go ahead and remove the contact sheet and move on. Okay, now we're gonna move on to what came to be my most favorite part. So once again, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the tacket. I'm using somewhat of a, like, I don't even know. I think I got this paintbrush from Banff Custom Creations and I absolutely love it. And it gave me the perfect feathering effect that I wanted at the top and the bottom to get that stroke brush stroke appearance. So I did a very thin layer so I didn't have to use the heat gun for too long in this section. All steps from before, tack it, dry it, and then apply the foil. So once I was pretty confident with this section, I started layering the foils right over the tacket. When I placed it, I want to try to explain this the best way I can. So I would place one, slip the other one up underneath, if that makes sense. So on these particular foils, they have this little teeny tiny, very clear, no design on the edge. So when I slipped it up underneath, I got an effect that I genuinely freaked out about, absolutely loved it because I didn't anticipate it, I didn't think it through, but I ultimately freaking loved the way that there's little tiny gaps when I pull this um, nail foil up off the tumbler that you'll soon see. So just like before, we're going to go ahead and rub this down really, really well, and then we can remove the foil. Okay, here's the moment of truth. This is when I literally screamed with excitement. I mean, look at the top and the bottoms. I mean, they are to die for. You see the little tiny gaps that are happening in between each section of foils and none of them look the same. Like I am genuinely obsessed with this tumbler and I cannot wait to make more. Okay, once this step was fully completed, I allowed this to fully dry and then I slipped it onto my turner so that I could do the nail tape. I'm using a textured nail tape, I'm sorry, it's a textured vinyl from Tech Wrap Craft Vinyl. Absolutely gorgeous. I did purchase this from Amazon, but it is from Tech Wrap Craft Vinyl and it's stinking amazing. So I went ahead and designed the, the stripes using my Cricut shapes tool and I did I think 0 0.08 in width and the length and height would have been like 10 or 10 and a half because I was using this for also 30 ounce tumblers and this was ex this was extra that I had. So again, yet yeah, we have not applied another coat of epoxy to this tumbler. I just made sure that all of my sections of nail foil with the tacket was dry so that I could go right into the striping. I know I've said this before, but I also really genuinely like using my turner as it's that extra helping hand, but you of course do not have to, but this I think is very beginner friendly and this helps ensure some really nice straight lines. So then we're just gonna use the X-Acto knife and trim off that excess and keep going until all of our stripes have been added. I do though wanna point out if you are a beginner and this step would make you nervous, you can absolutely epoxy this tumbler first, wait till it's cured and then apply the nail tape. And or in this case, vinyl stripes. Once that step is complete, we're now ready for another coat of epoxy. 
I am using Fast Set from Counterculture DIY for this second coat of epoxy. After this Fast Set has been applied, it will take up to three hours for it to cure, but it does take three to five days to be fully cured. As always, make sure you use your heat torch to pop any bubbles you may or may not be able to see. And here she is, fully completed. I am genuinely excited and seriously obsessed with this tumbler. As you can see, all the details in this nail foil, it's gorgeous. You can see the textured vinyl detail from Tech Rat Craft Vinyl. I mean, seriously, guys, I love this. I want to wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas. I hope you all have had an amazing day. If you stopped in to watch this video, I cannot thank you enough. If you haven't already, be sure to check out my 13 days of back-to-back -back Christmas series just for you. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials coming soon. Also, if you recreate this Tumblr, please tag me on all the socials so that I can check it out. Be sure to drop me a comment down below and let me know what you thought of this Tumblr. Again, I want to thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas.